Turkey's Supreme Military Council is to meet to discuss the appointments and retirements of high-ranking officers in the Turkish Armed Forces. It follows the arrest of dozens of army generals for attempting to overthrow the government. More than 8,500 soldiers of various ranks took part in the attempted coup on July 15. Since then, more than 5,000 have been remanded in custody. Among them, 151 generals and more than 3,000 high-ranking officers. 1,600 of those accused, including 149 top brass, have also been discharged. Well, let's cross live now to Ankara, where we can speak to Andrew Hopkins. Andrew, the Supreme Military Council is meeting. How significant is that? Why now? Well, Asha, the, the ostensible reason for their meeting now is to look into the events surrounding that uh, coup attempt on July the 15th and talk about uh, promotions and appointments of high-ranking military officers. But the, the situation, the picture is much bigger than this because government ministers have been talking about restructuring the armed forces because of that failed coup attempt. And that's effectively what they're going to be talking about this afternoon, ways of restructuring the army. So these, these coup attempts are much less likely to happen. They're going to be looking at appointing military officers who are seen as having who are seen as being loyal to the political system as it currently stands. And, and make no mistake, the military does face a number of challenges at the moment. You talk there about the number of arrests. There were two generals on this council who resigned just before the meeting. There are two, two others who have just had to be replaced because they have been accused of taking a leading role in this coup. And just to, to give you an example of, of how important this meeting is at this particular time, there are normally two council meetings every year. The next one was going to be next month. They brought it forward. Normally this meeting would last three days. It's only lasting one day. And normally they would meet at the military headquarters. But this time, for the first time, they're meeting at the Prime Minister's residence here at Chankaya in Ankara. Now, the President is due to hold another important meeting, which is expected to start soon. What more do you know about that? <clears throat> Yeah, any time now we're expecting President Erdogan to have a meeting with the head of the Turkish intelligence service, the MIT. This is a man called uh, Hakan Fidan, and it's the second time they'll have met since the uh, failed coup attempt on July the 15th. And bearing in mind that the president has been talking about uh, intelligence failures to blame for this failed coup attempt, uh, you could, I think you could assume that this, this man has had some quite tough questions to deal with. Now, with this second meeting happening right now, alongside the Supreme Military Council, there may be a suggestion here of, of a restructuring of the intelligence service, uh, also of the military as well, taking place both at the same time, a coordination of the restructurings, if you like. And also, you can't really rule out the fact that there have already been a lot of questions about uh, whether uh, Hakan Fidan is still secure in his job. OK, Andrew Hopkins, live in Ankara. Thank you.